If you're hoping to see a video about a beautiful yacht, then you're in the right place. And in a moment, we'll be taking a look all through this sensational Azimut Grande 35 Metri from top to bottom, inside and out. But this is far more than just a video about a yacht, since this particular Azimut, called Heed, represents an opportunity so unique, so exciting that I believe she will make a major contribution towards a new trend in yachting. But before I tell you about that, let me take you for a tour of the interiors of this yacht. Azimut have worked closely with one of Italy's most successful interior designers, Achille Salvani, to blend the outside aft deck with the inside lounge. Now this is not just a glib marketing expression, the windows in the main lounge are enormous, so that the entire lounge is flooded with natural light that illuminates a very stylish interior decor that's far from what you would usually expect on a yacht of this size. Salvani has worked with soft curves and gentle folds to create a sophisticated but relaxing ambience where one can sink into comfortable seats to enjoy the surrounding seascape or just pass a lazy evening watching movies with friends. This theme of subtle curves is continued into the master stateroom on the main deck, but here Salvani has made the unusual choice of placing the bed neither against the aft bulkhead or the forward one, but rather in the center of the cabin as an island. This format actually works incredibly well, and just look at the amount of wardrobe space that is created on that aft bulkhead. Whilst an absolutely splendid ensuite bathroom is located at the forward end. And not forgetting too, that this yacht has another rather attractive feature in the master stateroom. Below deck, a further four staterooms are located that are beautifully appointed as the master stateroom itself. Two of these staterooms have double beds in them, along with really surprisingly spacious ensuite bathrooms. And the other two have single beds, although they can also be set up as a double cabin. Once again, each of these cabins have wonderful ensuite bathrooms. Everything is set up so that the owner and his guests can enjoy generous spaces on board, whilst the crew still have a very well-proportioned galley from which to prepare food, well-sized washers and dryers, and of course, a raised pilot house so that the yacht can be operated from an inside position, as well as from the flybridge. When you see this kind of elegance and exquisitely appointed workmanship, it's easy to start dreaming of owning a yacht. But of course, there is a considerable cost associated with yacht ownership and sometimes even very wealthy and highly successful people who can afford to own a yacht simply don't want to invest that much money into it. Now, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll remember that earlier this year, I went to Croatia to meet Mati Zadnikar. Now, he's the founder of a company called CNET Europe, who offer a very well-structured method of co-owning a yacht. And the great opportunity that this Azimut 35 Grandi represents is that this very yacht is available for co-ownership. Before I tell you about just what this means though, let's take a look at some of the great features of this stunning yacht. During the filming of this video, we took the yacht out for a run. Azimut owners have certain expectations regarding the performance of their yachts. And so for the 35 meter, they designed a hull that was optimized for speed with a wave piercing bulb. Added to that, Carbon fiber was used in the composite layup of the superstructure, so that with this yacht, they actually achieved 26% greater efficiency when compared with their previous 35 meter model. Now that is progress they must be really proud of. 
As you watch the yacht underway, you probably notice that unusual bow too. Whilst just about every other production yacht has a V-shaped bow, Azimut have given a squared flare to the bow to maximise deck space, giving the vessel an almost luxury mini aircraft carrier feel to it. Although of course aircraft carriers just don't have the same fit and finish as Heed, and I don't believe they have such a great sunbathing area with wonderful modular sunbeds, a jacuzzi tub big enough to almost be considered as a plunge pool, and a rather nice seating area too. There are a lot of outside areas on this yacht, from this discreet and private sunbathing area on the top deck, to the spacious and well-appointed upper deck, complete with sunbeds, a bar, a dining table big enough to enjoy a banquet, and an elevated helm station for the captain and guests to enjoy the best possible vantage point during navigation. Something I really do like about this yacht though is that the tenders and toys are stored in a garage that has a side entrance to it. This means that the transom area is freed up for this magnificent beach club and I have to say that during filming, while the video crew was hard at work shooting the interior, I enjoyed a moment of relaxation in this wonderful setting. I'm happy to report though that my video team were also able to enjoy the super yacht experience on this shoot, as the wonderful Scenic crew on Heed treated us to lunch on board at the after deck dining table. This is the second time that I've been on a Scenic yacht and the second time that I've been struck by the professionality of the crew from the way that they're dressed to their really genuinely and sincerely friendly manner and their eagerness to help. It's very clear that they feel that they're part of something much larger than just a yacht. And in fact, one of the benefits of being the co-owner of a CNA yacht is that you walk on board with a highly trained crew already in place. Actually, the captain and the engineer of Heed followed the construction of this yacht right from the very beginning, keen to ensure that this would be the best Azimut Grande ever to have been built. Certainly, it was the first one ever to be commercially coded. Now, that meant that extra equipment had to be installed, redundancy systems and extra safety gear. They didn't have to do that, but they wanted to do it to make sure that they could offer the best yacht with the best service at the best price with the least possible hassle. This video, this video is a little different for me because I don't represent this yacht for sale. So in a few moments, I'm going to put the contact details of CNET on screen so that interested and qualified parties can contact them directly. For me, I'm just delighted that I can show my viewers and yacht owners and those that are thinking of buying a yacht that there's a very clever and very cost-effective way of doing it. Take heed.